Welcome back everyone. I'm really excited to kick off this new month of videos because we're going to be talking about change. I think change is harder than we give it credit for. Um, and so we tend to be a little too hard on ourselves and too hard on other people, especially our spouses and our children, um, when, it's, when we're trying to make healthy changes and they're just not getting with the program. So I'm really excited to share with you some powerful principles that are gonna help you make this easier, help you understand the process a little more, and be able to move through this process with more grace for yourself and for the people around you. So if this is your first time seeing these videos, welcome. My name is Danielle Dinkelman. I am a national board certified health and wellness coach, and I'm also a plant-based nutrition educator. I do these videos every single week inside my YouTube channel and our free private Facebook group. Both are called Healthy Living with Danielle Dinkelman. So if you haven't joined us over there, please come on over. We'd love to have you join the conversation. So today specifically, just for today, we're gonna dive into something that is so important to understand when you are trying to make healthy changes. And that is how to overcome the willpower trap, okay? What is the willpower trap? Well, there was a fantastic book um, written by a group of social scientists. This book is called Change Anything. And in this book, they call out and kind of coin this phrase of the willpower trap. The willpower trap is believing that the only thing that is keeping you from being successful in making healthy changes long lasting is that you just don't have enough willpower. And the willpower trap is a lie. It's not true. And this is why. Um, the thing that they teach in this book is that there's not just one thing that is the make or break end all be all to helping you make changes. There's actually six sources of influence when we're talking about changing human behavior. I wanna walk you through what those six sources of influence are. I'm gonna to try to put it in really clear, hopefully non-scientific, non-overwhelming terms that you can start to look through a new lens when you're trying to make changes and you can start to self um, examine and self-diagnose the behavior change pieces that are at play here. So stick with me. I'm going to have a guide for you. Um, there's going to be a link in the description of this video that you can actually download um, a guide that I've created that you can print off and kind of fill out a worksheet of whatever you're trying to change how could you apply this understanding of these six sources of influence and how could you use these to overcome this willpower trap in whatever you're trying to change, whether it's you're um, eating better or moving more or prioritizing your sleep, stressing less, whatever it is, let's figure out how you can leverage these six sources of influence to get them in your favor rather than working against you. So um, let's dive in. So six sources of influence. If you could imagine um, a grid of two columns going down and three rows going across, that would give us six boxes, right? Six quadrants. I guess it wouldn't be quadrant because there's not four. <laughs> six boxes. And in the columns, there's two categories. There's um, ability and there's motivation. And I'm going to tell you a little bit what I mean by that. And, and then on the three rows, we're thinking on three different levels, personal, social, and environmental or structural, okay? So personal being just me, within, within myself, within my own mind, my own body, um, we would then have personal ability and personal motivation. Personal motivation is willpower, right? That's just the will, that's the fire behind you that you have that's, that's pushing you forward and that's causing you to want to make healthy changes, okay? That's, that's personal uh, 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 motivation. Um, personal ability, that's, that's your skill set, that's your understanding, that's, um, that's your confidence. Um, there's a lot that goes into personal ability, okay? And some of us, man, we, we get into you know, wanting to eat healthier and gosh, maybe we don't know how to cook. So they're, they're already the one source of influence of personal ability is actually not working in our favor, it's working against us. And, and we need to maybe just focus on that of 
um, gaining some skills in the kitchen. Maybe that's a place to start. Do you see already how understanding these pieces can help you make decisions and make plans for yourself to step into a healthier lifestyle? It's so powerful. So let's go down to the social part. So social motivation, social ability. What does that mean? Those two you can kind of wrap into one, but I'm sure you have people or groups of people in your life that motivate you to make really healthy choices. And you probably have some people in your life that motivate you kind of in a negative way, that just by being around them, you kind of feel this pull, you know, we might call social motivation, it can be positive or negative peer pressure, right? To, to do or not do certain things. Um, let's talk about social ability. Sometimes, sometimes our social connection, connections can straight up get in our way. And also on the flip side, our social connections can make something possible that wouldn't have been possible for us to do on our own. Right? Um, some people are such social um, exercisers. It makes such a huge difference for them to have that social ability um, of having people in their life that they are meeting up with at the gym or that they're meeting up with to go on a walk or that they love going hiking with. Social ability is such a huge influence for them. So at the very least, we don't want any social motivation or social ability working against you. So that's where we start having some conversations and having some maybe some hard decisions of um, distancing ourselves from the social interactions that are not supporting us, okay? Let's go down to structural, or you can think of it as environmental motivation in uh, structural ability. So when we say structure and environment, we're talking about everything outside of you that's not human, right? Social is everything that's outside of you yourself that is human, other people. But structural and environmental, we're talking about you know the physical surroundings, um, the circumstances you find yourself in, those things have a huge impact on our health and our choices and our lifestyle, right? Um, it can be, you know, the fact that you have this really long commute um, means that you have to wake up super early in the morning and so um, it, that impacts your sleep, which impacts your health. Do you see what I'm saying? So it can be anything physical, non-human outside of yourself that is impacting your health. One of the biggest things that I talk with clients about um, controlling their um, structural motivation and structural ability is what kind of food are you keeping in your home, right? Um, uh, when it comes to exercising, it's something you can use structurally is to set your workout clothes or your running shoes out um, before you go to bed the night before and you've already made that decision and you've like, you've already surrounded yourself with that decision that I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna go running. Um, do you see what I'm saying? So anything outside of yourself that motivates you and allows you to make these healthy changes. Okay, so there's your six sources of influence. Again, feel free to check out this book. Um, it, it's available on audiobook as well. Again, it's called Change Anything, The New Science of Personal Success. It's a really compelling read and there is a lot of evidence-based um, information here, a lot of social science studies that have been done that really help us understand the inner workings of this amazing human psychology that we have, this programming that most of us don't even know is running. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, please check out the um, the guide that's going to come along with this video. I highly encourage you to spend time with it. Whatever the one thing is that you want to make changes with, um, whether it's you're trying to transition to that whole food plant-based way of eating or you're trying to exercise more, prioritize sleep, stress less, all these things that matter so much to our health. Um, let's help you not just get stuck in this rut of thinking that it's something wrong with you and that you're not strong enough or determined enough. That's the willpower trap. We want to let that go and we want to just start looking at this a little more objectively, honestly. We want you to be able to come up with a plan for yourself that's very informed in all of those six sources of influence and you will be blown away at the difference that this makes. So 
Good luck. Please reach out if you need any help or support figuring this out. I would love to hear from you. And in the meantime, feel free to follow us on YouTube. Again, it's Healthy Living with Danielle Dinkelman. Or come and join us inside the Facebook group. We'd love to see you there. So until then, we'll see you next time.